Alrighty. I got both the cylinders on. Now uh, let's put the exhaust on. Make sure you put the exhaust on the right way because uh, this is the way it goes. But it could also go this way. So I'm not going to uh, use any gas oil on the on these gaskets here because it would only burn off. You know what? I bet you I should have put them on here and ran the screws through here. Oh, that's not that difficult. I thought I was going to have trouble. Hmm. Okay. They're going pretty easy. Turn this here so I can see. Okay. You want to crank up on them because they're gonna. You're not gonna be able to get to them once uh, you put this engine together. About the right torque spec right there. Alright. I don't think I have an exhaust pipe or a muffler for this thing. This is the exhaust pipe. But I'm just going to put this gasket on here so we don't lose it. And my buddy can put what he wants on there. Sometimes you put it along tube on there sometimes you just put a, a little muffler like the ones I make like the ones I build okay now we're uh, it's the bottom of the tank this doesn't need a gasket that just sits there it's a uh, two machine fit there's no gasket or anything I just cleaned the paint off so it sits proper Now, let me move you guys over here. Actually, let me leave you, leave you where you're at. Just bring you in a little bit here. And I just set you down. And this, these two big bolts will hold you in. Let me stand up so I can see where to right here. All right. I'm going to stick my head in the way. All righty. Tighten it up there. Nine sixteenths. My torque wrench here. I need my torque wrench. Okay. I think it's the right torque spec. All right. All right. Let me shut these off, and uh, I'll go get the base. I took the tank top off because we got a little ahead of ourselves here. I, I could have put this in afterwards, but uh, you wouldn't be able to see it. This here is the fuel jet, and that goes right in this hole here. And it's got a little slit on it. And you don't want to, I'm going to put gas oil on it, but uh, you want to keep that slit clear. I think that's uh, so when you flood it, the fuel will go past that little thing back into the tank. Let me just put a little on here. I'm not even sure you need it on here, but it ain't gonna hurt. Okay, now I'm just gonna use the the fuel pipe to stick it in there. Okay. 
There we go. All right. You want that to be flush. That there's, uh, that there's pretty good. Now what holds it in place here is this uh, little set screw. I think it's an eighth, an eighth set screw. You don't want to, you don't want to crank it too hard. Just, uh, just not to keep so it goes in. Okay. Now since I got this here, now let's stick a little gas oil on there. We'll get it in in a hole. There we go. Turn my hand this way so you can see. Okay, I already checked that and we took it out. I cleaned this and everything so it's... The check valve works and everything like that. Got no problem there. This here, don't take much. Just uh, tighten it a little bit. Okay. Now we can... Uh, take our base and put it on. It's actually the tank top. It just goes in a hole there. Like that. And then we'll put these back on. There we go. Just a little detour. Sometimes you get ahead of yourself. Wrench again, tighten them down, and then of course, got to retorque them again. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I said I was going to get the base, didn't I? Before uh, we did that. All right. Hold on. We'll go get it. All right, I got the base right here. And I got my uh, gasket. I already prepared it with the gas oiler. All right, that looks good. Let me get this out of the way here. Problem with this gas oil is shit you get it all over yourself. I'll wipe myself down here, unless I gotta clean up. Okay. Okay, you guess uh, the valve is uh, all ready to go. You just take it, flip it here, and set it down. There we go. Let me move these over here. Here the bolts here. Let me see, one of these bolts we don't have to put in right now. I think it's one right next to the gas tank. Right next to the gas filler. We don't have to put this in it because that, uh, that holds your clutch cover. Shut you guys off, and I'm gonna put them bolts in and tighten them down. You don't have to watch me do that. All right, I tighten all them bolts down. This one here I put in. Like I said, it's gonna have to come out because that's where the clutch cover goes. But uh, that's only in hand tight. All right, now you got the gasket here for the the fuel cover. Might as well put that on. Keep all the crap out of there. This, uh, sometimes it's pretty tough to put on. Sometimes you gotta screw this on. Or, or not. It seems to be going on. Yeah, it's pushing on. A little bit at a time. There we go. All right. 
right? You don't put no, you don't put gas oil on it or nothing like that. We just stick it in there. Just keep all crap out of there. Tighten that down. All righty. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Almost 11 minutes. Okay, that's good enough for this video. All right, we'll see you next time. Maybe we'll put the flywheel on or the clutch and the kick pedal and stuff like that. All righty, see you then.